everyone, I'm Diwata Q. Omalia. So for today's video, the focus of our discussion is all about common and proper nouns. Of the considerable number of parts of a speech, nouns are maybe the most essential. Why? Because a noun is a word that recognizes a man, creature, spot, things, or thought. Here, we'll investigate what makes a noun a noun, and we'll give some examples alongside some guidance for utilizing things as a part of your sentences. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify common and proper nouns in sentences, use common and proper nouns in a sentence, and differentiate proper noun from a common noun when seen in a sentence. So let's start! What is a noun? The simplest definition of a noun is a thing and nouns are the basic building blocks of sentences. These things can represent a person, animal, place, idea, and emotion. Almost anything that you can think of. It could be a name of person like John, Fatima, Tom, Michael, and so on. Name of place like China, America, Church, Korea. Name of things like car, um, bottle, hat. Name of animals like dog, elephant, chicken. And it could also name feelings. Qualities, ideas, like joy, fear, beauty, strength, and anger. All of these are nouns. The more nouns you know in a language, the better you will be able to communicate your ideas. So I have here examples. I live in Australia. So the noun here is Australia because it refers to a place. Another example is I love dogs, but I hate cats. The noun here is the dog and cats because it refers to animal. There are several categories of nouns. For example, there are common and proper nouns. One important distinction to be made is whether a noun is a common or a proper noun. A proper noun is a specific name of a person, place, or thing and is always capitalized. For example, does Tina have much homework to do this evening? Tina is the name of a specific person, therefore, it is a proper noun. Another example, I would like to visit Old Faithful. Old Faithful is the specific name of geological phenomenon. Thus, this sentence is a proper noun. Okay. On the other hand, the opposite of the proper noun is the common noun, sometimes known as the generic noun. A common noun is the generic name of an item in a class or a group and it is not capitalized unless appearing at the beginning of a sentence or in a title. For example, the girl crossed the river. Girl is a common noun. We do not learn the identity of the girl by reading this sentence, though we know the action she takes. River is also a common noun in this sentence. So we have here types of common noun. Mm, common noun can be broken down into three subtypes concrete nouns, abstract nouns, and collective nouns. A concrete noun is something that is perceived by the senses, something that is physical or real. For example, I heard the doorbell. My keyboard is sticky. Doorbell and keyboard are real things that can be sensed. Okay, conversely, an abstract noun is something that cannot be be perceived by the senses. For example, we can't imagine the courage it took to that. Courage is an abstract noun. Courage can be seen, heard, or sensed in any way, but we know it exists. On the other hand, collective noun denotes a group or collection of people or things. For example, the pack of lies is disgraceful. Pack of lies used here is a collective noun. So now, it is time for you to show what you have learned in this discussion. So for exercise 1, I have here two column table. Use this table to sort common and proper nouns, and after that, use it in a sentence. And for exercise 2, you identify the common and proper nouns in these sentences, okay? So that's all. I hope you learned something from me. Thank you everyone and God bless.